Hey my loves, how are you? I just want to say something to you. I know we're all looking for love and you know we want that that dream love, that Barack Michelle love, that Jada and Will love, that you know what I mean? That That's just beautiful to me. But um, I say that to say before you can go out there looking for love, you have to find it within yourself first, right? Love will find you when you're ready, but you have to attract it. You have you attract what you are. So you got to work on yourself first. You got to love yourself and know that you are worthy of having a divine relationship. You know, don't settle for anybody just to avoid being alone. You have to do the work internally. You have to work on yourself in every way, which means mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and financially. Because if those five things are not as powerful as a fist, then what? You're going to start leaning on your mate for those things that you feel are missing. And that's when the problems occur. So <laughs> you want to make sure that you go into a relationship full, full of love, of self-love, and have your own stuff going on so that you don't depend on them for anything. You want to go into a relationship adding so that you can build your life together right makes sense and my book single sexy and satisfied people tend to ask me uh how are you satisfied how are you single sexy but satisfied how do you get to that level well i was married i was confused i was miserable um i didn't know what i wanted i felt like i was losing myself and um sometimes it happens in marriage sometimes you're better off as friends and that's just how it is but when you can agree to disagree and just go your separate separate ways. That is the best thing that you can do, right? So back to what I said, thoughts become things. You attract what you are, right? And you can only attract a relationship if you work on yourself first. Work on your self-love. And when the energy that you give out is, is um, you know, it connects with someone on the same frequency as you, that's when the magic happens. So don't worry about every time, am I going to meet him? Am I going to meet her? Don't worry about that. Just worry about you. Just do the work that you need to do every single day in all those ways, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, financially, work on yourself and you'll be so busy working on yourself that Mr. and Mrs. Wright will pop up when you least expect it. And that is the beauty of surprises. That is the beauty of life. That is the beauty of relationships. So don't get hard on yourself. Don't give up on yourself and know that your divine relationship is right around the corner right? He's waiting for you or she's waiting for you just like you're waiting for them. So look at it as you are preparing for your king or your queen, right? Do all the things that you love doing now. Make yourself happy, totally happy. Fill yourself up with all the joy and love that you can possibly stand. And then when you meet that divine king or queen, let me tell you something. You guys are going to be unstoppable together. So don't worry about you know, if you go out here and you got to kiss a couple of frogs, right? We all, we all know that. We all know that dating is a numbers game. So don't get frustrated if that date didn't go as you thought it would. Don't get frustrated if the relationship didn't work out. It lasted for a month, two months, and you feel like you wasted your time. No time is ever wasted because you tried. And from every relationship, you should learn something and take it with you. Learn something. Take it with you. Learn something about yourself. Was it something about yourself that you learned? Don't always blame the other person. You know, so I hope that that helped. I have some more tips in my book. You can find my book at singlesexyandsatisfied.com. Just like it sounds, singlesexyandsatisfied.com. Um, I have a lot of chapters there in there on marriage, divorce, being single, dating, emotional roller coasters, parenting, networking, entrepreneurship, everything that you probably could think of, I probably wrote about it because I wanted to cover all bases. All right, because I know we got a lot going on as parents. As entrepreneurs, as driven human beings, we got to take time to balance. So I tried to balance my book and my topics for you. So thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you once again signing off. This is Jean Vieve Nimani. I appreciate you guys so very much. And I thank you for stopping by and watching all of my videos. I hope that at least one out of 75 that I have has added to your life in some shape or form. I love you guys. Have a great evening or a great day whenever you're watching this. And believe in yourself. Do not settle because you are worthy. Peace and love.